Good morning, friends. Welcome to the seminar. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, wish all our Muslim counterpart Selamat Hari Raya. We are still in Hari Raya mood for one month. And for the uh, Tawis here, uh, they are also having their Hungry Ghost Festival. And to the Chinese, they are soon celebrating Mid-Autumn Festival. And also to all of my fellow Malaysians, we are also celebrating Merdeka Day. And to all Malaysians, we are going to celebrate 50 years Malaysia. Also, soon. So, welcome back. And also to uh, Chair Lady, I'm not the spokesman for the government. <laughs> so, I'm just presenting the, uh, some of the views that uh, the Department of National Unity, uh, which we collect those informations to share with you. And uh, the topic is quite challenging. And to make it simple, I use this quotation here on equality. When the sun rises, it rises for everyone. Can we be the sun? That is a tall order. Not everyone can enjoy the same benefits. So that is the challenge. So the challenge for the Department of National Unity is, can we make Malaysia better? That is our role. So here we are looking at the keyword here, everyone. So when we talk about minorities, the direction has changed. It's about individual now. Those days, minorities, we like to look at ethnic groups. In Malaysia, it's very difficult. We have 200 14 ethnic groups and sub-ethnic groups. In certain states, the minorities become majority. You will be surprised. So when we define minorities, we get very confused. So let's start with everyone. Next slide, please. Uh, this is what happened, the shifting ground. If you look at 1950s, this is where we started off with political parties, from NGOs turning into political parties. Uh, up to today, the political parties is still there, trying to asserting rights. And along the way, NGOs start coming in in the 80s and getting stronger. They are fighting for common interests, unlike political parties. Initially, political parties are fighting for ethnic interests and it's still the same behavior today. And now comes the interesting part after 2008 election. We see that the rise of activists, activists words on issues. And you can see that those issues tends to be very polaristic. That means A says this is how it should be. B will say, there's another way of doing. C will say, don't bother. Let's be happy with what we have. So that sort of diversity is coming in very strong. And then it spread very fast. It's very contagious. It goes viral very fast. It just explodes just because of technology nowadays. And some of those issues, very sticky, it don't go away. It's there continuously. And people keep on hugging on it. So this is what we are seeing, uh, partly because there's a rise of citizen journalism. Each individual, each one of us, is a journalist by itself. If we are unhappy with certain things, we can just video record it, send it to YouTube, then it goes viral. Or we can just put one photograph, and it goes viral. Uh, this is the new dimension in Malaysia. I believe throughout the world, we are facing the same problem. So if you look at that, asserting rights, now three strong parties are looking at it. One is political party, one is NGOs, 
and now individuals are asserting their rights. So each one of us are also asserting what we think is the correct one, but in reality might not be agreed by our friends. So that is the reality of the situation. And if you look at that quotation, equality is not regarding different things similar. Equality is in regarding different things different. So let's ponder about it. Next slide. Uh, this is very interesting. Uh, this is from Lat, our great Lat, how he observed Malaysia. And you look at it, uh, Malaysia, uh, we may start off with a harmonious situation. All it takes an individual to press a button and the whole society go viral. That's what we are in now. Anyone can throw an issue and we all start jumping. And we say we are in deep polar polarization. Uh, this is what we are suffering from. So here we need to learn from a very old ancient quotation. Equality consists in the same treatment of similar person but same treatment is very difficult. And looking at those individuals asserting their rights is about issues. What are those issues? And in the Department of National Unity, we collect data and we rank those issues. Can you go next slide? Uh, these are the, what we call pain issues for 2012. The first one is religious issues. And in Malaysia, religious issue is either number one or number two. So last year, it was number one. And then you have land issues, and I believe our friends from Sabah, Sarawak, and Orang Asli has a lot of unhappiness over land issues. Uh, governance issues, a lot of issues related to governance. Uh, surprisingly, project development issues also coming out. Uh, issues like Linas, our pengarang issues, uh, these are coming out. Uh, even our route friends also unhappy will go mine. Uh, crime issues, last year was number five. I hope, I think this year it might go even further up. And so goes on the list. Our friend just now mentioned education, it was there. And I just want to touch the first one. If I go into one by one, it takes a long time. And just look at religious issue, what we are facing now. I believe you are very well aware of it. And you might ask, what do we do? Or what should each of us do? But in the Department of National Unity, we are trying to do something, try to make it better. And first of all, we realize these religious issues need to be addressed. So we formed Religious Relations Unit in 2008. And uh, this year, we are proposing to the government to upgrade it into a division, Religious Relations Division, so that we have more manpower to address those issues. Uh, religious issues is very difficult to address because of polarity of views. And those views cannot be compromised. And the next one, what we try to do is that uh, we set up a committee from the faith-based organization. Uh, some call it the uh, Interreligious Committee on promoting uh, understanding and harmony among adherents, religious adherents. Uh, this committee consists of uh, voluntary faith-based leaders that work together with us. They are very active. We meet almost weekly, trying to find ways and better understand each other. Uh, these are the two mechanisms, but along the way, we do address some of the issues. Uh, early on, we try to address issues related to the house of worship. Uh, 
if you could recall, uh, in 2008, Hindra made a lot of issues on half of worship, very unhappy. So we work with the uh, Ministry of, uh, currently is Ministry of Wellbeing, Housing, Urban Wellbeing, Housing and uh, Local Government to come up with the guidelines for the House of Worship that has been now done. Also, we realize many of us, after we pass away, we have a problem, burial issues, land, how do we find uh, guidelines for burials, cemeteries, and we work on that. Now we have the guidelines. And then we realize that uh, many of us don't quite understand our friends on the other side. How many of you here have visited Gugwara? Have been to Gugwara? Not many. How many of you has been to a Taoist temple? How many of you have been to a Buddhist temple? Oh, good. How many of you can differentiate between Taoist and Buddhism? No difference. We are in big trouble. <laughs> See how little we know about the others. So, as such, we say that let's have religious tourism. Unfortunately, about two weeks ago, we have a problem. We thought with good intention to promote religious tourism, we can understand each other better. We work with Ministry of Tourism and Culture. So you can see that uh, religious issues is not easy. And as part of this initiative, we took out UN's uh, decision on the World Interfaith Harmony Week. Any one of you know when do we celebrate World Interfaith Harmony Week? November. November. First week of February every year. <laughs> In Malaysia, we do that. Uh, last year, uh, sorry, this year, we start something very different. We start with Harmony Walk. We get Prime Minister himself down, go, go to Brickfield and visit five houses of different religion as an experiment. <coughs> Medias are having a headache. How to present this? The fear is there. They are not so sure it's the right way of doing it. They are not comfortable. But we are still going with it. We need to better understand each other. And we also took this effort this year for celebrating World Interfaith Harmony Week. We participated the uh, competition, world competition hosted by Jordan, and we won bronze medal for conducting this program. And we also have continuous inter-religious dialogue. We do it closed door. At the moment, we do a lot on bilateral dialogues. Uh, we have also inter-religious youth program. We are targeting the youth to better understand. And we make sure that they visit various house of worship. Many of them, just like you, saying that this is the first time they have been to the house of worship. Listen to people explaining what is it about. If we don't bridge that, then we will continue with religious problems. So I'm just touching on one of those issues. There are many issues raised. And this is only 10 top issues I put it up. The list is very long. Okay, next. This is my last slide. Being all equal and independent, no one ought to harm another in his life, health, 
liberty of possession and learn from these people. Extend your spears. You don't have to kill stand there. I think we can do it. Thank you.